All right, coming right down the barrel at you again today. This is the most important video I've ever made in my life. Uh, up until this point of my career on YouTube, this is it. My life's work, at least in Putacana, is complete because I went to the four best party hotels in Putacana. I live to talk about it, and now I'm going to tell you which one to go to. Okay, so you want to come to Putacana and you want to turn up. I'm not talking about having a couple Jack and Cokes poolside and listen to some ACDC. Okay, I'm talking about partying. You want to maybe not remember your name at the end of the night. You maybe want to go on a two day bender. You're looking for a real fun crowd, an energetic crowd. I stayed at the four best. I stayed at Hard Rock, Breathless, Royalton Chic, and Rue Republica. And I've never made an easier video in my life. Four and three and two and one are so clear cut. There's like no overlap. I don't have to think about it. It is plain as day. So for this video, um, I'm gonna talk mostly about like the party and the crowd and the energy and the atmosphere, but I also am going to like give you the standouts about the hotel because you can't party for four days straight. Well, actually you can, because I did for eight days straight uh, when I went over the Hard Rock and then transitioned to Rue Republica. But at some point you gotta take a break, right? So like I'm gonna talk about, you know, like for example, Hard Rock has the biggest room out of these four. And I'll just start right there. So Hard Rock has the biggest room out of these four. I thought the food was okay. The crowd is not a party crowd though. The crowd is like a feel good crowd. It's just like good vibes. You know, it's the age range is like eight to 80. Remember Hard Rock is not adults only. And because it does have children, it can only get so rowdy. It can only get so rambunctious. It can only turn up so much because for the sake of humanity, there are kids next to you. And you're gonna see these kids at the swim up bar. You're gonna see these kids at the bar. You know, kids have infiltrated this property. It's the Hard Rock. so. It's a feel good hotel, but if you're thinking that you're gonna go to Hard Rock and turn up and you're gonna get crazy, it's not going to happen. So Hard Rock comes in at number four. Grandma and grandpa can go and have a good time. Mom and dad can go and have a good time. The kids can go and have a good time. All three generations can go and have a good time, but sorry to tell you, it is not a party hotel. Number three is Breathless. This one is basically like a Hard Rock on steroids. I would even really call Breathless a huge party hotel. It basically just takes Hard Rock to the next level. What you're gonna like about Hard Rock, you're gonna find more of it at Breathless. It's gonna be more luxurious, it's gonna be more refined, it's gonna have better food. The crowd is actually older at Breathless than Hard Rock. You know, the one thing about Breathless, it's it's much older than I thought it would be. I'd say the average age range of the, of the people that were there when I was there, I'd say it's 50. Like, I, I generally feel I was one of the youngest people there and then I thought about it, and the reason is so obvious is because it's so expensive. With that type of dollar amount per night, you're not gonna get that young and sexy and fun international crowd from all over the world. People just can't afford it. Now, I understand the crowds at these hotels shift from the time of year, spring break, to summer, and also just from the time of week, from the weekend crowd to the weekday crowd. But it's not gonna shift entirely. Like, I know that what I saw at Breathless could shift a little bit, but it's not gonna shift completely. So. Yes, Breathless is gonna be an older crowd. Um, it's more of a feel-good hotel than a party hotel. Yes, you're gonna have your pool party. It has a dedicated um, pool party pool. And yes, it's gonna have like the phone party and the DJ. But again, with the age range and the price, it just can only turn up so much. So consider Breathless basically to be like your hard rock on steroids. Unfortunately, because this hotel had a lot of hype going into it, I would consider it more of a feel-good hotel, just like hard rock than a party hotel. Okay, number two is Royalton Chic. I would have never thought that Royalton Chic would be the better hotel than Breathless. Breathless has all the hype, it has the brand, um, it's got all the glitz and the glamour, but Royalton Chic was definitely more of a party hotel. It had the better crowd, mainly because it was only like a couple hundred dollars a night when I stayed, like that's the price of Royalton Chic. So for a couple hundred dollars a night, you are gonna get a younger crowd, you're gonna get more of a sexy and vivacious crowd because it is cheaper. The crowd wasn't totally young though. I mean, I'd say it was late 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, uh, but definitely younger than Breathless. But regardless of age, I found the crowd just to be better in general, more approachable, more casual, more fun, more open-minded, much, much more social. Um, I love the pool area at Royalton Chic. It had a general pool, and then it had another general pool, which turned into a pool party. Overall, the crowd and the energy and the vibe was fantastic. Absolutely better 
than Breathless. Some other standouts of Royalton Chic very quickly, I got like a Miami vibe. Uh, I thought the staff was amazing. I definitely liked the staff a lot better than the staff at Breathless. The service at Breathless was not bad. It was really good. Uh, but I thought the service at Royalton Chic was much better. And overall, I thought the campus was easier to navigate. It felt more boutique-y. Um, again, I thought the value was there. Between the two, Royalton, Chic, and Breathless, there's really no comparison. For me, it's Royalton Chic all the way. All right, number one is Rio Republica. And if you watch my video, I booked this one as a joke. I booked it for $99 a night. And a lot of you have asked how I got it for $99 a night. I made a complete video on how I get these awesome hotels for cheap. And also, if you go to the Rio Republica website, they will show you um, which dates qualify for the $99 a night. They literally just say, okay, this week, this month is $99 a night. So just go to the website and they will show you how to get those amazing deals. But it really dawned on me on this trip. I'm like, wow, that's why Real Republica is so awesome is because it is so cheap. And with cheapness, you're gonna get like a younger crowd. You're gonna get, in my opinion, a more fun crowd. And you're gonna get more of an international crowd. That's why Real Republic is amazing. It's not advertised as a party hotel. And as I was saying, I booked it as a joke, like $99 a night, five star, all inclusive, how? And I went like, actually expecting to hate the place, to be frank with you. And I ended up loving it. Like right now, it's my number one ranked hotel in Putacana. I'm at excellence right now, so that could change. But either way, it's gonna be number one or two. The value is unbelievable. The food was much better than what I thought it would be. The food at, at Rue Republic, it was better than the food at TRS Turquesa. Better than the food at Royalton Putacana. The food at Rue Republica is not bad at all. Yes, half the restaurants are buffet, but the other half are sit down as well. And just to get back to the vibe and the energy, it is just amazing. Like the pool parties are phenomenal. Yes, you do get access to the other Rue resorts if you wanna go over to their parties. But for me, if I'm staying at Rue Republica, I'm just staying on campus the entire time because that is the spot to be. Uh, I checked in here at Excellence and I was talking to the VIP manager over at Excellence Club and, he, and we agreed. He's like, what's the best hotel? I'm like, Rue Republica. And he's like, I totally agree. He's like, no other party hotel competes. He worked at other hotels in Punta Cana. He works here at Excellence. He's a younger guy and he agrees with me that if you're looking to come and party, like actual party party. I'm talking about turning up, too turned up, you can't turn down. Like you actually wanna come here and live it up for a couple nights, a week, as long as you can maintain it, Rue Republica is gonna be the place that facilitates that. So it's really not even close. I would say that Royalton Chic is a blend between Breathless and Rue Republica, but in terms of an actual, actual party hotel, you wanna come and party. And again, I'm not talking about a couple wine spritzers at the pool, listen to some good music. I'm talking about turning up. Uh, People in their 20s and young 30s, I'd say early 40s are as old as it usually gets at Rue Republica, but you want that quintessential international Caribbean party crowd, it is Rue Republica all the way. So that is it. I've never made an easier video in my life. I've never made a more important video in my life. I'm really cutting through all the BS. I've done all the pain for you. I enjoyed all hotels, but not all those hotels were perfect. I stayed at all four, so you don't have to. So if you're looking to party, it is absolutely Rio Republica. If you're looking for an intermediary, it's Royalton Chic. Uh, number three is Breathless. It's more feel good than party. It's so expensive and, and for that reason, it keeps out kind of the younger crowd. And then Hard Rock is just a feel good hotel. It's not a party hotel. It's really a, a place of people for all ages. Normally I would ask what you think, but on this one, my mind will never be changed. Again, I just stayed at all four of these over the past couple of months and there's no way my mind will ever be changed. Uh, I would probably go back to the top two. I'd absolutely go back to Royalton Chic and Rue Republica. Um, I can't really see a reason right now to go back to Breathless or Hard Rock. They just really weren't that impressive. At the time, Hard Rock was impressive to me, uh, but after staying at more of these Putacana hotels, uh, it's becoming less and less impressive. So that's it. You're coming to Putacana. You really want to turn up and have an unforgettable time. It is Rue Republica all the way.